he says, if you want to keep the game fast and action-paced, why limit Marathon to a set amount of time? Uh, it's, it's a balancing thing. It's, uh, it's, you know, we liked how it worked very much in Extreme Conditioning and how the maps are balanced out this time around. It worked fairly well for Modern Warfare 2, uh, but we, um, you know, it, it still keeps it fast-paced. It just doesn't, you know, make it the, the be-all running first. Requires you to have a bit more strategy, especially in things like Capture the Flag, where um, Marathon was, was was fairly, you know, fairly powerful in Capture the Flag in Modern Warfare 2. Where okay. now it requires you to also have that speed, but also have you uh, rely on fighting as well. Um, Elcon, you're going to get a copy of Modern Warfare 3 for the platform of your choice. We still have six copies to give away in the next uh, 20 or so minutes. So the next the next guy, he has a fantastic name. His name is Soviet Jive Turkey. That's his name. Yeah. Soviet Jive Turkey. Don't get it. He says, "What effect does the EMP the grenade?" Turkey's Jive Eagle. <laughs> he says, uh, "What effect does the EMP grenade have on kill streaks, examples, deployable turrets, etc.? Is it that it destroys them, or yeah, it, it, it'll take them out? Okay, now, it doesn't just temporarily disable them. Right. Where you know, flash and stun have like effects on them, where EMP is designed to disable them." Remember, you can tweet your questions at the uh, Twitter you see below with the hashtag MW3. We're taking questions about anything you've seen today. Single player, multiplayer, spec ops. Right now, we're towards the tail end of a match for... Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm spacing with the cap uh, headquarters. Headquarters. Yeah. So what's he using? XM25? Yeah. So see, now here, when, when he's aimed in, he has to mark a distance. So if he presses left on the left stick, it will mark the distance in which that grenade will be programmed to explode. So this one explodes in the air. Yes, based but, on the distance that he marks. Yeah. So if, it will, if somebody's behind a uh, something, right, they, it will maybe go a meter past and, and explode down. So it can basically render cover ineffective. Uh, yes. Absolutely. But you have to manually laze that distance yes. in multiplayer. Something you don't have to do in a single player. It's the difference between taking the same weapon that was in single player and rebalancing it so it's not overpowered multiplayer. Yeah, I imagine that's something that's a challenge, right? I, I, are there many weapons that have been changed between multiplayer and single player? Because in single player, you maybe want the player to feel more empowered yes. than you want them. Well, they have to check them all. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say every weapon goes. Every weapon goes through a rebalancing when it comes to multiplayer, in terms of reload speed and weapon damage and, and all that stuff. Um, so another Twitter question from, his name is I hate to Snipe. A. It says, in what ways did you change sniping? 